we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use Logic and Reaper together. What we're going to do in Reaper is we're going to tune vocals off a short um, recording. So what I'm going to do is click on here. This will be on your computers. Click on this file which says 2013 Love the Time Vocal Tuning. Double click it. Let it load. Once it loaded, it should load it up like this. The first track is vocals. I'm going to play this. If the sky opened up for me And the mountains disappear If the seas run dry, turn to dust And the sun refused to So on there we can actually hear some of the pitchings out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this region. Why we do this is going to highlight this, double click on here, and rename this as Kelly. And rename this as backing track. Also I'm going to rename this one here as Kelly also. And this one as backing. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this and click on media. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as a separate audio file. We'll click on bin. So whatever I highlight on here will show the actual file. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to audio file, save region as, I want to name this as just Kelly by itself because that's all that we want. Click save. So now we have this audio file called Kelly in here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load up Reaper. I'll load up Reaper, I'm going to find where this audio file is. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to highlight my mouse on here, hold down Option, I'm sorry, hold down Command, click, and then go to 2013. Then I'm going to go to Audio Files, I'm going to see that my audio file Kelly is there. Then I'm going to quit out of Logic, save this, and then go to Reaper. Now I'm Reaper, I'm going to drag that audio file into here and we're going to tune up the vocals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Command Tab and to Finder, go to where the file was, which is Audio Files, and highlight Kelly, drag it into here. Next, we're going to just move this across. Next, view you want to do is we're going to just drag this window up so we can add in a plugin so we can have it. Retune a voice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on track insert. I want to go to code costs and I want to do rear tune. I click OK. This will show a graphical uh, visualization of a keyboard or where the pitch is going to do. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on manual correction and we're to do this manually. And the way this works is it's going to analyze the actual audio file. And show a graph of where, how, of where she's singing. So I'm going to rewind this to the start on here. Click rewind and press play. And you'll see on here. If the be, sky opened up for up. me and the mountains. The reason why it's not working is we haven't clicked on manual correction, which I'm going to click on here. Then I'll play it again. If the sky opened up for me and the mountains disappeared, if the seas run dry, turn to dust, and the sun refused to rise. So, once that's done, it shows a graphic representation. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you edit this. So on here I'm going to zoom in and we're going to see these little bars. You notice that this shows all the letters of a keyboard. I'm going to zoom this a little bit further and I'm going to widen this also. So I'm going to play save phrase from here. If the sky opened up for me and the mountains disappeared. So we notice this pitch is slightly out. The way we draw in the pitches is we're going to draw a little blue line. 
This blue line will determine where the pitch should be. So if I place this pitch here, and I'll play it from here. Disappear. So it's up a semitone. I'm going to drop it down. Straight down below. Disappear. So that's still too high. I'm going to drag it down. Disappear. So that will be the right pitch. So this is how we will correct it. Same thing with the next phrases. If the seas run dry, turn to dust. So the dust is a bit flat, so I'm going to highlight this, draw a line, and I'm going to just move this up. So it should be somewhere in between here. So she's hitting halfway through the note. If the seas run dry, turn to dust. So it's still sharp. I want to just drag it down below. If the seas run dry, turn to dust. And in between here is where the pitch should be. So you can see when I zoom in, right here, that's the center of the pitch. If the seas run dry, turn to dust. So that's how we correct the pitch in Reaper. So what I want you to do is Correct all the pitches and then re import this back. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pretend that we've already done this whole track and I'm going to bounce this back into logic. What you need to do is you need to close this window and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce this down. So, I'm going to highlight all this. So, this is all selected. I'm going to go File, Render. I'm going to have this as 24 bit. Go to Browse. Browse directory. I want to put this up in here, audio files. Click open. I'm going to rename this as Kelly Fixed Pitch and click render one file. Once that's done, we'll go back to logic. I'm going to quit out of this program. Go back to logic. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete the bad vocal take here. I'm just press delete. I'm going to go into audio file, add audio file, go to where I put the corrected pitch one, highlight this, click add, and I click done. Then I'm going to drag this into here, and now this will play the corrected pitch on here. And that's all I want you to do. And this is how you correct a pitch using Reaper. That's all.